Now this demo is a, a practice for, or a rehearsal, for one I might do this afternoon as a demonstration for a friends group. Um, I'm, I'm going to paint on twice that size, the 22 by 15 inches, half imperial. And I might use the uh, simple palette with the three colours, the burnt sienna, raw sienna and black. But I'll have to do one using all these colours, the usual palette of lemon yellow, raw sienna, alizarin crimson, light red, ultramarine, burnt umber, Payne's grey and burnt sienna. Uh, but I'll, if I have time I'll do three demos, but I'll certainly do two on the large size. And so, uh, if, if I do another Rocky Gorge type picture, I'll, I'll wet the paper all over. Now I've got the paper, which is, uh, this is um, Fabriano. It's a £130 weight that I buy from Grantham's in blocks of 100. It's a good way to buy it. It's quite inexpensive for what it is. Water kind of papers, as you know, the heavier you get and the rougher it can be very expensive. Not to be practiced on, really, unless you're wealthy. Uh, so, there we are. So, we'll put a. I'm not doing any drawing or anything. I'm going to put in a, a burnt sienna sky, which I've been a light. Just get nice, nice warm bit of colour there, and we mix that with a bit of bit of bit of black. Put uh, on the side of the burnt sienna if you do this. So these are the overhead clouds. You now the, the hake is split. As usual, so so a nice overhead cloud and coming down to down to there, sort of horizon. That'll do. Right, uh, have a swig of tea while that is uh, drying off a little bit. It doesn't really dry off. What it does, it soaks into the paper and expands it, and then we reclip it and carry on. Uh, but I want to just dry. Oops, got to turn things on. Right. <laughs> I don't want it too dry, just the surface. I'll take the hair dryer with me this afternoon. So we'll put in a, a nice, good, rich background, three colours. So, so a, a nice. I'll get it over one side. Had some ground coming across here, and then we'll go to the other side, make this a bit lighter, I think. Um, that we can kind of bit of shadow in there now. Go back to the light, vary the, uh, the colours. Some nice warm colours, then we'll start scraping out. That's a bit of shadow colour. Uh, we'll put a bit of background in there now. You need plenty of water to clean your brush. Now, just a light, just a light neat black I'll 
I'll come over that with some some trees to take that cauliflower out. And that's okay. That's not too bad. Well, we can we can soften going a bit. Good here. Hopefully it will just look like a bit of shadow. Mm. Right, I'm just re-wetting some of this here. Right, let's get the cards and start to... Bigger as we come into the front. A nice rocky rockiness. Right, and we'll do salmon here, I suppose. Just catching a bit of light there. Just catching a bit of light. And we'll reclip. The one I did the other day, but I think I used all the colours. That that looks quite uh, quite pleased with that one. Well, it's a thing sticking up into that. I think. Might even put that as a tumbling string. Don't know. But let's scrape out. I hope you can see this. I'm just just showing some of the rocks and shadows. Be a bit creative with this. You don't want to. Uh, Big ones there. I don't like to put a bit of shadow on some of that. Right, that I think will do. Uh, I'll just put in some some scrapey rocks. The high, the, the light catching tops. Right, okay, I'll put some darks on there later. Now, <coughs> what we've got to do now, <coughs> there's a bit of, bit of texture. So we'll uh, put a bit of a uh, tree in here. Oops, a bit uh, some trees. Some nice dark in the shadow or the lee of that big cliff behind. Oh, 
Oh. Cloud has just coincided with the top of that, but thankfully we've got a hard edge there, so we can exploit that. Right, let's uh, the card just. Just stitch in some just showing some trunks and branches. Probably a bit too dark there, but anyway, that's how it's working out. Right, we'll put in some. Just hanging on to the sides of that cliff. Could be something to uh, draw into with the rigger. Now let's get a bit of greeny with the, with the burnt sienna, oh, the raw sienna. stuff in here. Nice and warm on top of this. Right. So I'll just scrape out a little bit of that, it's just a bit too too much backing up with a bit of a, a bit of a rock. Right, okay. Right. Uh, Give that a little bit of texture. I think we could have done with some, some darker clouds there, but anyway, it is a rehearsal. Let's let's uh, use my hike again and get in some shadow. Look, just underneath where it would show a bit uh, of shadow there, We're, we've lost it with the scraping. Right, that'll do. Rigger. And I've got to do the, to some something in here, water I'll uh, figure out. Uh, let's put in some put a little figure on there going up the hill. Someone
like that. Okay, without that, it's just a little bit thick there. So I'm just struggling up the hill. All right. uh, they, they give a little bit of scale to the whole thing. Well, I'll dry that off. Hang on to your ears. So we'll uh, mix up some darkish colour for the water because we've got oh, that'll do. That'll do. I'll, I'll just dry that off, and I can just put some darker stuff in there. So it's, it's an experiment. Trying to get all your tones with two or three colours is quite challenging, but good fun. And you do get the nice contrast. You're, you're, using, you're using tones to, to build the picture rather than colours. We haven't got a lot of colour. We've got a lot of warmth and we've got a lot of cool as well. Um, I don't know whether another figure in there would be appropriate, but we'll put one in. Why not? I'm going to put some birds in. And we'll put a bit of a... Just some... Little bits of... Detail, nothing here, I'll just just here really. Okay, I'll put this figure in. That's, uh, so remember to put, make your heads small and put them in afterwards. Sign it. I'm not going to add more to that. I'm reasonably happy with a swig of tea. Always let my tea get cold. Uh, right. My wife has kindly donated some old towels for soaking up and cleaning the brushes. Right, take those off. Right, there's my nice, ah, here it is. So there we are, another tone study. I keep calling them the tone study. So they're, they're bona fide paintings. Even with one colour, you try doing this with one colour. That's a real challenge. Just bring the camera around a bit. All right, let's come out of this bit first. So if I had a boom, I could put this camera in front of me over my head 
and, and love your the um the the angle of, of the board but at the moment I can't seem to come up with one. So there we are, let's let's go into it. Let's go around the top first. So there's our distant mountain, it's got a bit of warm in it. And going into this cooler one. Uh, let's go across the landscape there. So there we've got a steep side of this gorge. Just coming down the hill with the three figures. Let's move that out here. So we've got all this scrubby stuff here. I wouldn't say it shows up too great, but that, that does, that's fine. But uh, anyway, there'd be, be all sorts of bramble and, and gorse and, and, and various other horticultural delights. Uh, let's come down to the tumbling stream. I'm not great at doing these, I think they're getting better. But I'm not working from, from any reference material with these. But I'm putting the dark, I'm starting to darken this rather, so that it reflects what's behind rather than just the sky. The light bits will be the sky, and the dark bits will be the reflection, the tumbled reflection of, of all this showing. So, anyway, I hope you, you enjoyed that. Let's come out of that. And there we are. So that is a rehearsal for something I'm going to do this afternoon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.